What is the water of death? How can the threat of it bring the spacing yield to heal? And how would its use all but end spice production on Arrakis? Friends, let's find out and welcome to another f Dune video. General spoiler warning at this stage. For, so first thing, what is the water of death? We learn from it from Paul Moadib. As the Emperor sits comfort in Arakeen with five legions of Sardaukar to defend him, and the guild waits to see who wins, stopping even the great houses coming down, and also allowing even poor houses to join the fleet around Dune. Paul says, by reducing troop transport fares to a point where even the poorest houses are up there now, waiting to loot us. He then asks his mother to change the quantity of the water of life, and he asks Chani for a fragment to find a pre-spice mass, and now the key part. Paul says, if we plant a quantity of the water of life above a pre-spice mass, do you know what will happen? The water of death, he said. It would be a chain reaction, he pointed to the floor, spreading death among the little makers, killing a vector of the life cycle that includes the spice and the makers. Arrakis will become a true desolation without spice or maker. China put a hand to her mouth, shocked to numb silence by the blasphemy pouring from Paul's lips. He who can destroy a thing has the real control of it, Paul said. We can destroy the spice. Paul says the guild search for him, but can't see him. They tremble as he knows their secret, and the loss of the spice would blind them. Now let's explain what we've just covered there. First, what is the water of life? According to the, to the appendix of Dune, the water of life is an illuminating poison, specifically liquid exhalation of a sandworm, produced at the moment of its death from drowning in water. This poison is then changed within the body of a reverend mother to become the narcotic used in the siege tau orgy, dubbed an awareness spectrum narcotic. Now the part I had to think about here was, why does he need his mother to convert it? He says it's the catalyst. The term I researched, and the word catalyst means a substance that increases the rate of a chemical reaction without itself undergoing any permanent chemical change. So perhaps the converted liquid that can be given to the feminist part of the orgy would increase the rate at which the water of life is used on the precise mass. In other words, increase its effectiveness to help fulfill its function as the water of death. Now let's briefly go over the life cycle of the sandworms and the spice and how the water of death would impact this and spice production on Arrakis. Worms when mating produce an egg that becomes the sand trout or little makers as the Fremen call them. They gather together around water, connecting together and block off those parts from the surrounding environment and these bodies mix with the excretion of the larvae to form the pre-spice mass Pressure builds and eventually explodes, and what lands on the surface is changed by exposure to sun and air to go from pre-spice to spice melange. Little makers that are not caught in these explosions to die go on to become full sandworms, who lay the eggs, and this continues. Now this is a truncated version, of course. What it does is show us how the water of death placed on a pre-spice mass will poison the little makers there, and so there will, there will be no spice or sand ones generated from them. I'm not sure how one pre spice mass translates to many parts of Arrakis, but I think this is an example of what it can do, and he does say it would affect part of the life cycle. Take out a big enough portion of the pre spice mass in many places, and el eliminate enough little makers and the spice, and thus the melange would be gone. This is indeed the water of death. On that note, friends, I'll wrap up today's Dune video.